Until now, we learned about how to define a class, how to create a constructor, primary constructor, auxiliary constructor. We also saw how to create an object by using the keyword new and passing the, the parameters of the class, right? So we learn about this and we learn about creating an object. So I'm just gonna show you some stuff about the um, strings and the methods that you write for this class because there are a few stuff that are new and they're specific to Scala. The first thing I wanna show you is how to create a multi-line string. So let's go back to our class and see here, um, I needed to override a method to string, which we is the same thing in Java. You say override dev to a string and it's returning a string for this class because I wanted to get the final nice print and output of the result of this, uh, the variables of this class, right? The, so any object that I create, I will be able to see the output. So here, uh, if you want to have a multi-line string, which means that every line that you just go to the next line is going to print like this. You just need to surround your text with three double quote. So one, two, three, and you will be able to see um, your text or uh, your string in multiple lines. Every time you go to the next line, and that's exactly what you're going to get as a print. So you, there's no need to say plus backslash n and use all those stuff to, uh, to format your string. That's one thing. The second thing I wanted to explain is make a string. Uh, so there's a method named make string that helps you um, to create a string representation of collection uh, of elements uh, by iterating through the collection. So let's say here I have an array of grade and I have an array of courses, right? So I wanted to get the, to get all the element of these courses and grades and Java way of doing it was writing a for loop and go through every single list of this course and print them. But instead of that, I'm going to take advantage of the method name make string, uh, which is a method that uh, has an overloaded method, which allows you to provide delimiter to separate each element in the collection. So here I wanted to say between uh, every element, I'm just passing, uh, create a comma. I could also say instead of that, use dash, for example, right? Instead of using the comma between each elements. So all I have to do, I have to say courses dot mix, mix, mix string and then pass the delimiter. And that's what about make string. Super useful, super awesome method. And it's really all those line of codes, you can just summarize it into this. And the last thing I wanted to explain is actually using the literal S that allows the usage of variable directly in processing a string. So let's say here, I wanted to pass uh, the value. So I have some define string and I also have some values that I want to pass. So I could just use s literal here right in the beginning. So my string has to um, start with s and then the values I can use the dollar sign. If, um, if I'm using a two keyword or longer variable name or I want to make calculation, I need to have the, bra the bracket braces open and close. Uh, and pass these values. So this is a really nice way of uh, formatting a string in a Scala. So let's run uh, this again. And here when I'm calling the two string, one two string is gonna call this method. And if you notice now between course one and course two, uh, I don't have the comma anymore, anymore because I changed the delimiter um, to this. So, we also learn about creating multi-line string using three double quote around our string. If we want to uh, use the S literal, we can use this and then we can pass our string here. And if we have a value that we want to pass before that value, we can just pass dollar and name. And if it's longer, you need to use the, the braces. Okay, curly braces. And then we also learn about make string for arrays, right? That will help us to create a string, a string a representation of a collection element uh, by iterating through the whole element. And we can also pass a delimiter to that. So we covered everything in this session. Thank you.